Hello and welcome to another quick drawing lesson. This week we're going to draw the fabulous Citroen DS, the 23 I think, which is the later one with the fared in headlights. First thing we'll do is a front wheel over here. Try to draw nice and lightly and then we'll draw the back wheel even more lightly because we won't see most of it. Um, one, two, three wheels further back, so quite a long wheelbase. So we, we're literally only going to see this bottom edge here, so don't worry about getting it perfect. Um, we just need to know where it is. Next we need a nice line that's almost straight that goes through the front wheel just above the middle, through the back wheel just below the middle, and extends both ends. Something like that. And um, if you come to the front wheel, halfway between the top and the middle, this point here, and then go forward so that you're three quarters of a wheel further forward than the front wheel. So three quarters of a wheel there. That's going to be your furthest forward part, the front bumper. At the back, also three quarters of a wheel, but you can stay on this line this time, um, or even just below it. So that's going to be your back bumper. It's just below the line on that one. The front one's slightly higher, back one's slightly lower. And um, now the bottom of the car can do very low to the ground. This car's parked, um, so the suspension has sunk. And once you've got that in, you want the back end to curve slightly up to your bumper and the front edge to curve down nicely. So it's a bit like the bottom of a boat or something. It's a nice smooth aerodynamic shape. Um, we can do the bumpers at this point, I suppose. So just add a bit of a box shape with a nice point. A slightly shorter one at the back. There's your bumpers. Um, for the front wing, if you measure a quarter of a wheel above the front wheel, that's going to be the top edge of your front wing. So the, the quarter, this tiny little gap, just add that on top and add a short length there. That's sort of almost, let's say horizontal, that's going to be top edge of your front wing. And you can add a curve to meet that as well. So you've got a nice pointy front. We can now add the divisions for the doors. So the front door curves towards the front, just a bit further back than the front wheel. The back edge of the back door is pretty much a vertical line just in front of the back wheel. And then the middle one, the middle join, is just a bit further back than halfway. So if you come to the halfway point, come back a bit and add a slight curving um, vertical line. So these are your two doors. Um, to find the top edge, we've got a slightly tricky part. So come to here where this uh, front edge of the door meets your wing. And the top edge of this door comes along a bit and then kicks up slightly. So it's a little hockey stick shape. Um, and from that point, we now know the top edge of our bodywork. It slopes towards the back. Once it gets above the back wheel, it then drops off. But we need a little straight line here, which it needs to meet. Whoop. It's a nice flowing curve, that's what we need. Um, we can bring your doors up to meet it, so they're all in the right place. Uh, now we can do our pillars for the windows. So the windscreen pillar comes out of this hockey, si hockey stick shape, quite sloping. And the front edge of the screen sort of points at this point here. It doesn't come as far down as that, but it's, that's where it's heading to. But the bottom edge, bottom edge of your windscreen comes out there. So a little curve. And then you can show your bonnet heading down behind your front wing. So add the top edge of your screen. And now the top edge of the windows, again, so I'm just going to make it a bit taller than I have it there. Drops off with a curve towards the back. And for the back pillar, the C pillar, come to this point here at the top of the back edge of the back door. 
and changed the direction slightly so it's tilted more towards the front like this, quite a straight line and add some thickness to it with another line there. And now we know where this middle pillar needs to go at the top edge of this join. And that one slopes this way slightly, but not as doesn't slope as much as that one, your B pillar. This line here is quite interesting because it, it flares out at the back here to make a sort of triangle shape. And that's a, an extra light, which is quite a nice feature. And now for the roof, we need to add some thickness to this roof. This line here, if you imagine that continuing a little bit, that will be the top edge of your rear screen and your roof needs to just curve nicely to meet it. Now we need the rear screen. Um, so we've got a little, I don't know if that's a hinge or something, there's a shape here on top of this rear arch. And above that is a, another hockey stick shape. There's lots of those little curving bottom edge of this screen. And then we can tilt this and start the rear screen just above this rear light. Don't go all the way up here and come down to meet that. And then repeat it again for the boot. So we've got the basic shape down. And now we can add a bit of depth to it. So we'll show the wheels on the far side of the car. We'll darken the underside. Actually, the rear wheel is covered so we can continue that line over the top of the wheel and shade underneath slightly. Show the tiny little bit of the wheel on the far side at the back. And the shadow on the ground. I like to stop my shadow and not do the bit where the wheel touches the ground because that just shows that the wheel is touching the ground. It just helps kind of plant it a bit. You can darken the underside of the car over here. And the chrome bumpers. Maybe you'd see a bit of the uh, exhaust poking out down there. They're just little details that add a bit of interest. Um, we also need a little wing mirror, uh, rear view mirror here, just poked in that gap. And some door handles. And they're above this line for the front arch, it's in this space here, just a little strip, that's all it needs. And we can show a bit of thickness to the cabin by darkening up inside the roof. showing this pillar on the far side. Um, some windscreen wipers maybe. Oh, I must do the lights. So we've got some, some smaller indicators down there and then some much larger sort of nice fared in lights here. that arch a bit. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Looks a bit like a Citroen DS. Hope you found that fun. Um, let me know in the comments if there's a particular car you'd like me to try next and I'll have a go at squeezing one in. Um, otherwise have a good weekend. Subscribe and like and all that stuff and I'll see you for another one soon.